Jesus said to love the Lord with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, and all your strength, and to love your neighbor. This is the greatest commandment. We as a church desire to be obedient to that, and so we are built on love, regardless of location. We know that the church is about the people of God, depending on the work of God and growing in the grace of God. We are built on love, love for God and love for others. And it's on that foundation. And it's on that foundation. And it's on that foundation. And it's on that foundation that we build our church. Welcome to Built Vision Today, where we are building up in love together, and we are focusing on the work of what God is doing in Cornerstone Calvary Chapel and the future vision of what God is doing as we have the plans for a new facility. Today, I have Mike McNerlin with us. Mike oversees our Awaken Young Adults Ministry. And so how are you doing today, Mike? I'm doing good. How about yourself? I'm doing well, man. Uh, looking forward to talking with you a little bit about Awaken and what God is doing. But before we even get into that, why don't you tell us a little bit about God has drawn you in through our young adult ministry in the church over the years? I was coming to the church for about a year before I really even got plugged in. Mm. I was coming in and leaving immediately after service. I didn't have any friends here. And it wasn't until I was introduced to one of the young adults here um, and I was invited to come out to the Bible study uh, that the Lord really started to use that ministry to completely change my life. Mm -hmm. Um, I didn't realize that there were people who actually were my age who loved Jesus (laughs) that much. And it was intimidating, but it was also really encouraging. Mm -hmm. Uh, And so I got surrounded by these young adults and... uh, I just caught a love for Jesus that continued to grow and grow, and uh, I've just seen the Lord really use the young adult ministry mm. in my life to to cause change and uh, to draw me closer to Him. Mm. And you met your wife. Yeah, that's a big <laughs> thing for sure. That was like the first night uh, I met her, and I was like, wow, <laughs> who is this? <laughs> God is good, huh? Is amen, good, amen, amen. So now overseeing our young adult ministry, uh, and recently just making a change to that, used to be called Petros Young Adult Ministry, and now you've changed it to Awaken Young Adults. So tell us a little bit about that change and the vision of what God is doing right now. Yeah, so it's really cool. Uh, I didn't realize that I was going to be handed over the ministry, and um, all of a sudden I I had all this uh, vision for the ministry, even before I was told that it was going to be passed over to me. And actually, one night in the middle of the night, I awoke out of sleep. <laughs> and with that name on, on my heart, Awaken, and, and the verse, uh, 1 Corinthians fifteen thirty four, which says, Awake to righteousness and do not sin. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and just the idea of the young adults ministry right now, what the Lord has for us, is we're desiring to do just that, mm-hmm. to awaken the young adults. Mm-hmm. Uh, first and foremost, those who are plugged into the body to awaken Christ in us, Mm. to reach the lost Mm. so that Christ can be awakened in them, Mm. and to to reach the distant who are a part of the church but not really plugged in, Mm. that they would realize just what Christ has done for them, that that love would be awakened in them, Mm. and that they would uh, draw near to Christ and draw near to uh, the young adult community and help serve the church, help serve the body. And that that would be a continuous cycle Mm. where those who are a part of the study would see Jesus in the scriptures, Mm. see him more clearly. And as they see him more clearly, they would love him more and desire to be like him. And as they desire to be like him, they would go out and reach those Mm. who don't know Jesus or who don't have the full realization of what Jesus has done for them. Yeah, that's so good. So good. So refreshing hearing that heart. And and in a world that there's so many, uh, especially young adults, who aren't interested in church or aren't interested in being awakened out of sleep in right. general, right? <laughs> we all like right. our sleep. <laughs> but to be awakened to Christ right. and, and, and walking in righteousness is so valuable and so good and so necessary for uh, not just this next generation, but all, right? right? Uh, so amen to that, man. Appreciate that. Um, so now, um, I know you don't currently meet in the church building, um, and part of that even is to the constraints of different meetings all at the same time, but uh, what's some vision that you could potentially see for the young adults 
in that ministry being in a new facility? Well, there's a, there's a lot of different ways that um, we could use the new space. We've been doing about quarterly, uh, like barbecues and things like that, and um, we can actually take those barbecues. Right now we're meeting at houses, but if we uh, meet at the facility, we can make it more outreach-minded. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, we can kind of make them bigger and, yeah. and get the word out to the local community. So. Uh, that's one way for sure. Uh, I know that there's a lot of uh, a lot of young adults who are involved in sports, and mm -hmm. there's already you know there's something that that's going on called Soccer Sunday, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and you know so who knows you know if we have space uh, on the property, we might be able to to do more sport outreaches yeah. and things like that. You know, a lot of young adults are looking for things to do, mm -hmm. and so you know the facility will definitely give us more opportunities to, to have events. And with those events, not only will uh, believers be able to uh, come alongside unbelievers, but hopefully we'll also have opportunities to straight out just preach the gospel. Amen. So, Amen. Well, thanks a lot, Mike, for joining Absolutely. us today on Built Vision. Thank you all for joining us. We look forward to being with you next time. <laughs>